start by opening up the VStudio 20 box. Prepare the supplied USB cable for first use. Put the software driver's disk aside for right now. Remove the VStudio 20 unit from the box and place it on a dry, level surface. Plug one end of the USB cord into the VStudio 20, but do not plug the USB into your computer yet. Depending on your speaker's configuration, this RCA Y cable will be plugged into the VStudio 20's line outputs. Run the other end of this cable to your speakers. Take the 8th inch stereo male pin and plug it into either mic in, line in, or auxiliary in. Place the software driver's disk from the VStudio 20 in your DVD player. Select Open Folder to View Files from the Autoplay window. VS20 drivers are split in two sections, 64-bit drivers and 32-bit drivers. Today we're going to install the 64-bit Windows 7 drivers. Choose Setup EXE, right click, and select Run as Administrator. Select Next on the VS20 driver setup page. And then select Next again to begin driver installation. As you can see, the driver begins to install. Windows Security will prompt you with an installation warning. Select Install again. At this part of the installation, plug in the USB cable from the other end of the VStudio 20. As the driver is being installed, you should hear two simultaneous Windows system sounds. This is verification that your drivers have been installed correctly. You may now move on to installing the editor. Go back to the main software drivers page and choose editor. Right click and run as administrator. Even if you're not going to be using the COSM sounds, you still need to install the editor to have access to the tuner and the phantom power for the XLR microphone. After the editor has been completely installed, your VStudio 20 is now ready for use. Please note there are three PDF files from within the manual section of the software driver's disk. These PDF files refer to COSM effects, setup, troubleshooting, and general use. This is Charlie Roy and thank you for watching.